If you've tried recording with a microphone and you're not happy with the results, you may be thinking, I need a new microphone. But before you go out and buy a new mic, I want to offer you a few tips for how you can get a different sound by experimenting with microphone placement. Maybe you have the right mic already, you just need to use it differently. This video is sponsored by the Audio University membership community. It's been great to get to know our members and to help them make music they're actually proud of with our monthly courses, live streams, and mix reviews. If you're not a member already, you can join using the link below the video. The first thing I want to address is the problem of room noise and leakage from other instruments finding their way into the microphone. One feature of a microphone that we can use to our advantage is its polar pattern, which determines how a microphone responds to sounds based on the direction they're coming from. Now, most microphones have a fixed polar pattern, such as cardioid, figure eight, omnidirectional, etc. For the sake of demonstration, let's use this Austrian Audio OC818, which allows me to switch between different polar patterns. If I place the microphone in omnidirectional mode, it will pick up sound evenly from all directions. But if I switch the mic to cardioid, now it will reject sound from the rear and it will pick up sound best from the front. The cardioid polar pattern is very common and there's a good chance that's the polar pattern of the microphone you're using. If there's a source of noise in your room, like a keyboard, for example, you can angle the back of the microphone to point toward the keyboard and the front of the microphone to point toward the sound source that you're trying to record, such as my voice in this case. Take a listen to how much less keyboard noise is picked up by the microphone when we use its cardioid polar pattern to our advantage. Here's the keyboard only slightly off axis, and here's placing the mic so the keyboard is entirely off axis. You could do the same thing in a situation where you're recording several instruments in the same space. That might mean you place the mic so that the instrument you wish to capture is on axis and the instrument you wish to reject is off axis. However, I want to caution you here to listen carefully rather than just following this advice blindly. When a sound is directly behind the microphone, it will be rejected, assuming theoretical conditions, a free field with an infinitesimally small point source. But reality isn't always so simple. For one, you'll still be picking up indirect reflected sound off of walls, floors, and ceilings. And also, if the other instrument is somewhat off axis, there will be off axis coloration, which means the frequency response and phase response will be impacted. What I'm trying to say is that maximum isolation isn't always the best answer. At times, it makes sense to embrace leakage rather than avoiding it. The polar pattern of the mic is very effective when the sound comes from a particular point in space. However, it won't do much when you're dealing with a more diffuse type of room noise that seems to pervade the entire room. In these cases, the noise will effectively be coming from all different directions. And here, you can experiment with microphone distance. As you already know, sounds get quieter the further you are from the source. And this principle can be used to our advantage while recording. In situations where the noise comes from a particular point in space, increasing the distance between the noise source and the microphone will decrease the amount of noise that reaches the mic. Again, listen, it could be better to keep instruments closer together, even if there's more leakage, or it could be better to put some distance between them. When the noise is more diffuse, the amount of noise that reaches the microphone will remain somewhat constant no matter where in the room you place the mic but you can experiment with the distance between the instrument and the microphone. Let's say you're recording your voice. The room noise will be the level it's going to be at the microphone, but moving the mic closer to the voice will increase the amount of voice relative to the amount of noise. I like to think of this as similar to a signal to noise ratio. The closer the source of the signal is to the mic, the louder it will be in relation to the noise. And that will mean less preamp gain is required, allowing you to reduce the preamp gain level and effectively reduce the noise in the recording relative to the signal. We recently hosted a members only Q&A about microphones and microphone technique with Miles Fullwider, the CEO of 80K Microphones. I'd like to offer the recording of that stream to you as a gift 
Just go to audiouniversityonline.com slash mic technique class to get access to that recording by entering your email address. Don't worry, I won't spam you every day with emails and you can unsubscribe at any time. If you'd like to take part in future Q&A live streams and get access to exclusive courses, become a member at audiouniversityonline.com slash join the community. The distance between the microphone and the sound source you're recording will also impact the ratio of direct to indirect sound. When I speak into this microphone, some of the energy from my voice will reach the microphone directly, while some of the energy will bounce off of nearby surfaces and reflect back to the microphone as indirect sound. That indirect sound might sound like an echo, or it might return to the mic as reverberation. But in any case, I'd recommend listening closely before pressing record to ensure you've got the desired amount of room acoustics in your recording. Moving the mic closer to the sound source, the direct sound will be louder in comparison to the indirect sound, resulting in a less roomy recording. Putting more distance between the mic and the sound source will decrease the level of direct sound relative to indirect sound, and will therefore make for a more roomy recording. If you want a very dry recording, move the mic closer. If you have a nice room sound that will contribute positively to the sound of the instrument, try placing the mic a bit further away. And remember, if you choose to use compression on the signal down the line, the amount of noise leakage or indirect sound picked up by the microphone during recording will be exacerbated as you compress the dynamic range of the signal. So I'd recommend keeping this in mind from the very beginning. Making the right decisions in recording audio is almost always based on the situation. So use your ears. As you'll hear in a moment, there's sometimes a cost associated with placing the mic closer to the sound source. When dealing with omnidirectional microphones, you may not hear much of a difference in the frequency response when you move the mic closer or further from the sound source. However, Directional microphones exhibit the proximity effect, which means you'll hear a boost in the low frequencies the closer the mic is to the sound source. If I place the microphone far away, it will be quieter compared to placing the microphone close. We already know that. But if we adjust the gain in post-production so that the sound of both of these are equal in level, we'll hear that there's a tonal difference in addition to the level difference. This puts us in a position where we need to balance the benefits of placing a mic close to the instrument, such as decreased noise and reverberation, with the potential drawback of a muddy or bass heavy tone. At times, we can use the proximity effect as a tool to achieve a full bodied sound. And at times, we'll determine that it's better to have some noise and reverb in the recording in order to capture a more distant tone that's appropriate for the project. I hope these tips have been helpful for you. If you want to take your learning to the next level, become an Audio University member with the link below. And in the next video, we're going to take a closer look at polar patterns and how they work. I'll see you there.